the end of the world, the apocalypse. It's been coming for a long time, or at least the field predictions have. The doom mongering that you see on the internet today is nothing new. This has been going on for millennia. In this video, I'm going to detail just a few of these failed predictions. I'll just go up to the year 2000 and we'll leave out the usual suspects such as Nostradamus, Mother Shipton, Edgar Cayce. In 992 AD, Bernard of Thuringia, a fanatical hermit, spread word that the end was near because of a solar eclipse. People were so scared they ran to caves and mountains. In September 1186, astrologer Johannes Tolentanus said, due to conjunction of seven planets in Libra, that the world would be destroyed by winds, storms, drought and earthquake. People were advised to flee to mountains and caves and to dig underground shelters. Konrad Schmidt, a German flagellant, in his work, Prophetica, announced the end of the world in 1369. He was actually burnt at the stake for his trouble. In June 1523, a group of astrologers predicted that on February the 1st, 1524, London would flood and this would be the precursor to the end of the world. More than 20,000 people left their homes for higher ground, whilst others stockpiled food and water. Another prediction for 1524, but on February the 25th, a German mathematician and astrologer, Johannes Stoffler, said that a planetary alignment would bring great floods to the world. In Rhine, Germany, a crowd looking for boats caused a stampede and hundreds died. In 1578, German physicist and astrologer Hallisus Roslin said the world would end on August 12, 1654. This was based on an appearance of a supernova, now called SN1572, which was found in 1572. January 1583. Richard Harvey, the brother of the poet Gabriel Harvey, said a major conjunction between Saturn and Jupiter would bring the end of the world on the 28th of April that year. Interestingly, he was mocked by the public and ironic ballads were composed. Jacob Bernoulli, a Swiss mathematician, predicted a comet would destroy Earth on the 5th of April 1719. William Whiston, an English mathematician, in his publication Cometary Catastrophism, A New Theory of Earth, predicted a comet crashing into the Earth in 1736 on the 16th of October. This caused widespread fear at the time. London, 1761. The city had had two very minor earthquakes that year on the 8th of February and the 8th of March. And William Bell, an English soldier, predicted that a huge earthquake four weeks after would destroy everything. Bell had no experience in seismology or science, but began to lecture and publish about the third quake. Thousands of people left London in fear. Edward Bishop Elliot, Dean of St. Mark's in Kemp Town, wrote Hooray Apocalyptic Guy in 1844, in which he concluded the world would end in 1865-66. to The Scottish astronomer Charles Piazzi Smythe decided that the Great Pyramid in Egypt held the key to all the secrets, including the one that the world would end in 1881 or 1882. Henry Grattan Guinness an Irish preacher and author, in 1879 wrote a book with a really snappy title, The Approaching End of the Age, Viewed in the Light of History, Prophecy and Science. He used numerology and astrology to give 1919 as the date for the end of the world. In 
Nicolas Camille Flammarion, a French astronomer, stated in 1907 that a seven-tailed comet was heading to Earth. In 1910, when Halley's Comet arrived, he said that the cyogen gas from the comet's tail would come through our atmosphere and poison all life. In 1919, an American astronomer, Professor Albert F. Porta, said that a sunspot in December that year would prompt a giant explosion that would fly through space towards Earth. At the time, there was multiple reports of suicides in Mexico City due to this prediction. 1931, Wilbur Glenn Valiva, an evangelist and flat earther, stated that the world would go puff and disappear in September 1935. Dorothy Martin, also known as Marion Keach, a psychic from Chicago, claimed the world would suffer a great flood on the 21st of December 1954. February 1962 had two failed predictions. Keith Robertson, director of the Aetherius Society, forecast that February the 3rd would see the earth have a pole flip and 75% of the world's population would perish. Hindu astrologers had also predicted this doomsday due to the alignment of six planets and a solar eclipse of the 5th of February. Jane Dixon, a psychic and astrologer, took the line of those Hindu astrologers but stated that the planetary alignment would decimate the planet. In 1974, John Gribbon, a British astrophysicist, said that on the 10th of March 1982, an alignment of planets in a quadrant one side of the Sun would cause gravitational effects that would trigger big enough earthquakes to wipe out Los Angeles. In 1975, Dennis McKenna, an American ethnopharmacologist, and his brother Terence, a psychedelics promoter, said that gravitational effects between the Sun and a supermassive black hole from the centre of the Milky Way would destroy Earth in 2012. A good few others latched onto this theory and variants of it. Media King Pat Robertson predicted in 1976 that the end of the world was coming in October or November 1982. He followed this up in May 1980, saying that he guaranteed by the end of 1982 there would be a grave judgment on the world. April 1980. Leland Jensen, doctor of natural medicine, chiropractor and founder of a Bahi sect branch, led his followers into fallout bunkers as he predicted a nuclear holocaust. When that didn't happen, he decided to predict that Halley's Comet would collide with Earth on April 29, 1987. Harold Camping, an American evangelist, began his stream of epic field predictions with Judgment Day being September the 6th, 1994. He followed this with fire, brimstone and plague killing millions and final destruction of the world on October the 21st, 2011. Charles Berlitz, an American linguist, predicted the world would end in 1999, but failed to say how. Could be a nuclear war, he said, asteroids, or maybe a pole shift. Hmm. The author, Richard W. Noon, wrote that a planetary alignment and solar storms on the 5th of May 2000 would trigger a series of natural disasters. It would start with the polar ice caps melting and drowning large areas of the planet. And as the years have rolled by, the appetite to make wild predictions and assumptions and the fervour to believe the purveyors of doom have just continued on. Greater understanding of science and nature have not quelled the deluge of apocalyptic nonsense, and it's unfortunate that today's technology gives the ability to have catastrophe on tap. What is it that attracts people to want to believe in the demise of their own species, their own planet? Is it just they become so caught up and fed up with their day-to-day -day lives that it's something to give them direction? Or is it political disarray and social unrest? And what of those who pump fear and disinformation out by the gallon? I don't doubt that a few foolishly believe what they say, but let's be honest, for the rest of them, the end of the world is about money. <laughs>